Dear Boulder Valley uh, family, this is Rob Duncan here and uh, making this short video and sending you this email to ask for your help with something new that we're starting to do on Sunday mornings. Uh, it's not really new, it's just kind of a, a, a twist on what we've been doing for a long time. Uh, during our contribution time, we want to give every member of the Boulder Valley Church of Christ family an opportunity to teach on the importance of giving. Um, and so we're uh, calling our giving time, our contribution time, we're giving it the, t the term open-handed giving. Uh, and we would love to ask for you to um, lead our congregation uh, in a thought about us giving back to the Lord. Uh, we have several tools and several options of how you can do this. The first option is this, is that we would like to, we are using a resource called um, givewithjoy.org. You can check out the website if you like. It's got some great resources. But we're taking the uh, devotional book that they have and the website that they have, and we're giving you three ways to uh, uh, do a devotional thought for us about uh, tithing and about giving. The first thing is this, is that we'll just send you a very, very short devotional about the idea of giving to God and tithing. Um, and it basically, it's going to have uh, several scriptures listed out, and it's going to have a devotional thought for you to think about those several scriptures that were listed, and then you just uh, spend some time meditating on those. We would uh, Option number one is just read through that, and you pick two or three of those scriptures that stick out to you, and what are your thoughts about the scriptures? And just for you to get up on Sunday morning and to share, let me read these scriptures, and, and, and here's my thoughts about these scriptures and about us giving to others and giving to God. And they just have a prayer for the contribution. That's option number one. Option number two is we'll also send you a link uh, to a true story that this website provides of people who they started trusting God with their finances and started giving to God and giving to others and how God used that in a powerful, powerful way. Uh, if you want, you can get up and read that short story word for word and then just say a prayer or share your thoughts and say a prayer. Uh, if you want, you can get up and just share that story in your own words. And the other great thing is if you want, you could even just get up and we can play the audio version of somebody else reading that story, sharing that story. And once that story is over with, the audio is done, you can just share your thoughts and say a prayer. Um, that's the second option. The third option is this. Uh, some people may not be comfortable getting up in front of the congregation for different reasons. And so if you are like, you know, I would, I would love to get to share my thoughts with the devotional or with the true story, but I'm not comfortable getting up, then we would like to ask that you just take a look at the Bible study or that you listen to and read about the true story, and then you just type up or write out your thoughts about that study. Um, about those scriptures and about that story. And then we'll have uh, one of the staff or one of the elders or somebody else and just get up, say, get up and say, you know what, brother so-and-so or sister and so-and-so, they wanted to share this morning. They wrote this out and, and uh, they wanted to share this morning for our open-handed giving time. So we are really hoping to keep the uh, open-handed giving time to about two to three minutes maximum. These are really short devotional thoughts and really short uh, true stories. But we want to give everybody at our congregation a chance to get up and teach in one way or another about open-handed giving. So we would ask that you would please consider uh, doing this in one form or another and uh, that uh, you would bless the congregation with your thoughts about uh, us financially giving to God and financially giving to others. Um, thank you so much for your willingness to help out with this and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.